Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 138 and we're continuing to learn about Drupal Commerce and we're going to be going over product types in this episode. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to go to codekarate.com if you haven't already. Become a subscriber to the Code Karate newsletter and find out how you can support Code Karate and these videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Last time we went over the very basic overview of what Drupal Commerce is and it went on a little long so we're gonna try to keep it a little shorter this time and we're just going to be covering product types. So obviously you wanna make sure you have all of the required modules especially with the Drupal Commerce we have quite a few of the modules, the core Drupal Commerce modules enabled. Not all of them, but you could of course have them all and this will work. We're going to start by adding two different product types. We're going to be selling hats and t-shirts. And we're going to show you how to add basic product types and then add a few example products after we create those product types. So the first thing is I'm going to come under store and go to products product types you can see there's a default product already created we're gonna take a look at that so if you go into manage fields you can see that it has a SKU, a title a price and a status you can also manage the display of these fields as, as well what we're going to do though is we're going to add our own product type we're going to call it hats and you can give it a description, give it an explanation. You can set if you want uh, default products of this type to be saved as new revisions when edited. We'll go ahead and leave that checked. So I'm going to click Save and Add Fields. And ba the basics that come with it are usually pretty good getting you started. Of course, you need the SKU, the title. You will need a price, so you can actually define what the product costs and you will need a status. We're also going to add an image. There we go. And we're going to select image from the drop down here and the widget will be image. We'll click save. Okay, so it looks like I'm already using that which is fine. We'll go ahead and select field image down here since that's already used on another content type I believe so we'll add this image to our product type I'm going to leave everything else at its defaults you wouldn't necessarily have to use the existing field image you could create your own image field it does not necessarily matter I'm going to move this up right underneath price you can reorder this of course however you want and we could all we would also be able to add here different attributes if we wanted to and we'll go over that in a few episodes but we're gonna keep it really simple just to get started and show you how to create a very simple product and how that can then be displayed on your Drupal Commerce website so I'm gonna come back to product types and also add a placeholder one for shirts and I'll go ahead and do the same thing I'm going to add up the image field again because the shirts will obviously have an image as well. Leave everything else at its defaults and click save. And I can reorder this if I want to. And now I have my hats product type and my shirts product type. Now when I come into products I can begin adding a product. So I can go ahead and I click on add product now I can create a hat or create a shirt and of course I could have just called this hat and shirt that probably would have been a little more appropriate rather than ending in, in an S but it will work either way just keep that in mind so I'm going to go ahead and create a hat and I will call this basically this is the SKU just has to be a unique identifier so you can use letters numbers hyphens and underscore so I'm going to call this hat01 and I'll call this white hat. We'll say it's 
twenty dollars twenty USD and I will now choose an image for this so I'll click on to select the file and I'll select my image I will then leave the status at active and I will click save and add another and I will call this one, use a skew of hat 02 call this pink hat and we'll say this one is also twenty dollars I select the pink hat image and I'll save and add another hat 03 Add the this one is the yellow hat. We'll say this one is cheaper for some, for whatever reason, and so we'll have this one only be 19 U.S. dollars. Select the yellow hat and hat 04. And what other color do we have? We have red. So we'll call this red hat. And we'll say this one is 21 dollars. So now we have four different products added. So now when we come to store products, you can see we have our four products that we have added. These are four different types of hats. One thing that you would notice when you're adding a product, at least adding a hat, is you only can select one image. Let's go ahead and add a regular product, and there is no image field. But what if we wanted to add multiple images? Let's say you wanted to add three or four different white hats, maybe different angles, different sides of the hat, different images so you can see how the white hat looks on a couple different images. In order to do that, we come back into our product types, we go into manage fields, into our image, select edit, and we can then scroll down where it says number of values. We can select how many we want. We're going to go ahead and select unlimited so we can upload as many images as we need. And we're also going to do that on our shirts content type or excuse me not content type don't get those confused this is a product type not a content type one thing that you will realize the content type and the product types are completely different so we'll go ahead and because we're using the same field the number of values of course is still unlimited so we don't actually have to change anything because we changed it in one place so now when we come in to add a product and we create a hat for example you can see if we added one image another image would now show up below just as an example and now you could upload multiple images and so we're going to use this in the future because initially we're going to have four distinct products for each hat so we'll have four different products listed in our product catalog or four different products listed on our site but eventually we're going to want to create one hat product that a user can just select a drop down to choose the color and so we're going to start with just the basics and then we'll go from there so now that we have our products listed that's going to wrap up this video you can see that we have the four products if you click on it it brings you to a page that allows you to edit the product information and save it every time you save it it's going to create a new revision on the update so when you click save and that will allow you to see how the product has changed over time inside this revisions tab here so that's it for this time thanks for watching the daily dose of Drupal and we'll see you next time and we'll be talking about product displays